Hi everyone, this is Laura, and today I'm bringing you an altered bag project that I finished. And this altered bag I made was for a swap that is being hosted by Sybil, who is JanSib80 here on YouTube. And I just wanted to say to Jan, thank you so much, Jan, for hosting this swap. I have been on an altered bag kick. Um, lately so this swap was right up my alley and so much fun um, and let me show share with you guys real quick what I created for my partner now Jan's rules for her swap were the following you had to create an altered bag um, you had to put three or more treats or goodies inside the bag for your recipient and the other cool part was that you were not to tell your recipient that they were going to get the um, goodies from you. So my partner has no idea that this is coming to her. And I am really, really, really happy to be giving this to her. Um, so let me tell you real quick what I did. Um, I covered the bag with some of my papers that Becker, whose body scrapbookera, had just sent me in a rack. Thank you so much for those beautiful papers, Becker. I know they're die cuts with a few papers. I think, and I'm not sure they're called French Country Garden, but I'm not absolutely sure. Um, I used a Sarah K image uh, for my bag that I cut out on my Spellbinders die. And guys, if anyone wants to know which Spellbinders I used, um, I'll be happy. Just put it in the comments below um, on anything that I used for this bag. And I'll be happy to answer any and all questions. Um, I'm just trying to get this. I have a doctor's appointment I have to run to, and I'm trying to get this loaded. So I may forget to give you certain details, and I do apologize for that ahead of time if I do. But if you want to know anything, please just put in the comments below, and I'll be happy to get that information to you. Now, the little floral vines that I have here are all MFT dyes, and I put some flowers that I've had in my stash um, for quite some time now. Um, I added a little dragon, a gold little dragon fly here. I also added some butterflies. And to the image, I colored it with my pro markers. I added some bling. I distressed everything with um, worn lipstick and spun sugar, my, Tim, um, my distressed inks by Tim Holtz. Um, I added some teeny tiny baby pearls to the pocket, to the lollipop, to the hat, and as well to the shoe. I added some stickles. And then I backed out on some green cardstock. Over here, I stamped this sweet hello. Um, I cut out a banner, stamped it on some white cardstock, or pink cardstock rather. And I added some flat back pearls. I put that up on some pop dots, as you can see there. And I also colored it with some Perfect Pearls blush. Um, yeah, and that just gives it a nice little glowy, iridescent shine. I don't know if the camera's picking up on that. It doesn't color it. It just gives it a shine. And I also added the Perfect Pearls to her name. I created a little... Um, tag here with her name. I also added a little parasol, some bling, and some rhinestones to that. I have some pink trim here and here, and that lace with the pink bow and a flat back pearl. And again, I distressed everything with um, worn lipstick. Over here in the corner, I have some of my metal flower embellishments that I created, and I also have a little leaf that I cut out on my spellbinders with those fabric flowers that my hubby bought me that I also colored in that blush but it doesn't really give it that much color it gives it more of a shine not so much color it's a very very light iridescent color and to the back of the bag I added some more trim up here here I added some pink flat back pearls and some more pink lace um, over here in the center, this is one of my Just Right stamps, and it says, The Road to a Friend's House is Never Long, and I stamped that out with worn, lips, uh, worn lipstick, my Distressed Inks. Um, I have two little butterflies, and these are uh, 
This is one of my uh, Sarah Martha Stewart um, butterfly punch, which I also added some sprays for antennas and some flat back pearls, and I also distressed these um, with worn lipstick as well. I added some gorgeous pink lacy rosebud trim that was given to me by my sweet friend Jackie. Thank you, Jackie, for that trim a million times. I've been hoarding it forever, but I did use this on this project today. <laughs> I also have another floral vine here that I cut out on my MFT dies. Um, and to that, I added these flat back pearls, some sprays, and another one of my little gold metal embellishments that I added a flat back pearl to. So Jan, I completed my bag. I'll be putting this in the mail pronto for my recipients. And as I said, um, the uh, swap was so much fun. I had a really hard time though stop, uh, you know, not filling the bag up too much with goodies. <laughs> I just love putting goodies in a bag and sending it off. So. I hope my friend likes her bag. I can't wait to get mine. I hope you all enjoyed uh, looking at this bag that I created. And please go visit um, Jan's channel. Um, she's so creative and such a sweet, sweet, sweet dear lady. And um, she has a lot of amazing projects on her channel too. So go show her some love. Hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you all for watching. Like I said before, if you guys have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below and I will answer them shortly. Thank you. Bye now.